It sounds good. I'll have to listen to the uh, old one too. But so I didn't play. I haven't played Lily since um, since I practiced her way early on. But she is uh, what's it called? She is. Uh, she has some spotlight right now with Knee playing her quite a bit, right? So. She's sort of an interesting topic in, in Tekken at the moment because there are people who are like diehard like Lily mains and they haven't sort of seen the success that Nii has. But at the same time, Nii's only been using him versus Kudans or, or Devil Jins. So uh, she's, an interesting, she's an interesting topic right now. But we'll get into this one. I thought she was pretty good before this. But, um, you know, a lot of the talk was that she's a two out of three monster, right? So maybe this is, if I were, if I were balancing this and I was thinking about how she was a two out of three monster, I would be thinking about how to make her uh, less of that and more of uh, a character that can excel also in death matches. So overall more solid. Rage. During uh, Rage, command change to down three plus four, four. Because down three plus four is her cartwheel, or down plus three plus four, three two. Thing. This is, uh, I believe, this is so that you don't get this on accident. So you're able to access this move while um, while being able to still do the rage drive version. So this is a good change. Uh, two plus three inputs are not used enough, and they're good ways to make uh, make different buttons. And they're not too hard to obviously input. Damage change, uh, overall nerf on the damage. It, it did quite a bit of damage, uh, you know. It it did quite a bit of damage on its own, so that's fair. Set up on the first stack, attack uh, changed to 22. Okay. Opponent on first hit reaction was changed. Uh, I'm assuming it doesn't ground you or something. I forgot what it was. Well, it won't say because it'll be just on its own, right? Well, either way, uh, it seems like it's a little bit better. Jump status on the first attack of the frame has changed from uh, 12 to 9. So in the air faster, that's nice. And homing increase on the first attack, so you, it's harder to step away. Overall buffed. Overall buffed. Look at this wall standing for. So good. Overall buffed. Uh, 3 2 now has a do glide transition. This is uh, this feels a lot similar to Jin's, where he has a Zen transition out of his three one, uh, AKA just out of his regular standing strings. So that's cool. There are uh, a lot of these changes have been around stances in this in season two, so this isn't surprising. I think we might see a little bit more. Uh, we saw the same thing for Jin, Kazumi, um, Katarina. Leo, uh, all these characters got stance transition changes or uh, changes to their stances. Uh, Commander Root, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Means a lot. Thank you guys for tu uh, for uh, just chilling out with me. So it's going to try to get through these. Uh, this helps me quite a bit in terms of like, uh, remembering and learning everybody the patch notes as well as it helps me sort of make a decision on where these characters are going so this is uh something i would do on my own normally but uh i'm just doing it uh, just doing it with friends now which is it makes it a lot more fun anyway moving on four two change from 13 to 12 uh four two three negative 12 to 15 on block so she has a 12 frame knockdown similar to bob this is very good what changed about their stance uh kazumi has uh, a bunch of her stuff changed in frame data. So like some of it's uh, safe, some of it's not safe. And uh, she can also fly forward and she can fly back in the same stance. So she can like dash forward and dash back without stopping. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Jin got a Zen 3-1 uh, Zen stance transition. So now he is, his mix-up game is a little bit scarier because the 3-1 Z1, uh, th Zen is much quicker than all of his other Zen changes. Or Zen transitions. Uh, Leo got a bunch of things that move into BOK, and her BOK got buffed. Uh, all the stuff out of her BOK. BOK is like her AOP, uh, and also her KNK, which is her knee uh, stance, 
that you see out of back one four. Uh, the four, the knee part is K and K, and uh, that also got buffed. It has better moves out of it. Uh, K and K one two is safe on block, and it's a high mid. Uh, K and K four is slightly nerfed, but still very good. So overall, it's it's buffed. And what else? Who else was I saying? Uh, or uh, Katarina. Katarina got her uh, Harrier two changed to be safe on block, and Harrier one to crush highs. Uh, and also cancel faster. Leo's definitely not dead. I'll tell you as much. And uh, I'm actually making, I want to make a video soon about how uh, she's, how she's not dead. Yo, Karate Kuba, thank you. I'm assuming that's Mr. Kuba himself. I actually uh, didn't know you stream and I'm going to fix that. I'm going to, so thank you for the, thank you for the big raid though. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, man. All right. Anyway, so this got changed into a 12 frame knockdown punish. There's very few characters in this game that have a 12 frame knockdown punish. Yeah, Ibrahim, I would disagree. I think she's very good. Uh, I think she got a bunch of changes that give her different tools. Uh, I will show you some dirty stuff in a second. Uh, I, I want to make a video on it. Anyway, yeah, 12 frame knockdown, crazy good. There's very few characters that have 12 frame knockdowns in this game. So, uh, expect to see this a lot for a punish. So, you get 12 frame knockdown. Now you're in there, baby. Uh, but change to negative 15 on block. So, uh, it is a obvious change to make it uh, more of a punish. So that's fair. I will take this. This is not supposed to be something that you're uh, throwing out lightly. You're supposed to be using this to punish. So you see 12 frame punish or even a good whiff punish. If you're standing in this range and you see something like that whiff, you, you, can, you can react to this pretty quickly. All right. It's not too hard. Uh, four, three plus four, three, four. Oh, uh, I didn't uh, zoom down. My bad. Yeah, so these these are the changes that I was talking about a second ago. This is the one I'm on right now. Uh, three plus four, three four. Uh, opponent change uh, reaction change while down. So put him in a put them in a down transit or down state. It slides them out now. So uh, similar to sky vibration, Leo's orbital three plus up three forward. Up four, three plus four. This now slides out, so you're not able to. Uh... Yeah, so you're not able to slide down or uh, slide people out and pick them back up again. This is mainly uh, supposed to be done on the wall because it does it did a lot of damage. Yeah, so. It's uh, good for that situation now, but it, it's not. It doesn't do the same hit, so you're not able to just do it again. This is really annoying to deal with. Down four, three plus four, three plus four. Closer on block. Uh, I think this was largely because uh, she was a pain in the ass when she did this. <laughs> she would be so she would be really far on block, right? And then she would be still be able to put a mix up on you, and it didn't feel like it was very fair. This was very good on her, actually. You just do this, and then duck jab afterwards. And, it, and if she did anything, she was able to stuff you out of it. And if I recall correctly, it's not that good. On block, yeah. It's not that great on block. So the fact that she was able to duck dab you afterwards, it felt like it was, it was pretty unfair. Oh, 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4. Yeah, see? Mega unfair. I was definitely not supposed to do that. Anyway, that's good. That's good. I like this change. This, is, this was some cheesy shit. Down one, closer on block. 
Uh, universal change. A lot of, if you weren't noticing, uh, a lot of the lows got changed in a way that uh, made it so that they're closer on block. So they're easier to punish for characters that have stubby wall standing force, which includes like Jack, Gigas, uh, both bears were, were the main offenders, but also Fang also had a pretty shitty wall standing for. So things like that. Down back three, change to a homing attack. Very nice. Damage changed to 20 to 25. Oh, she's on full block. I don't know how to do... I don't know how to do Lily Colmos anymore. I definitely forgot how to do it. Uh, anyway, what was he going to do? So yeah, this is nice. Uh, it's kind of slow. And she gets a follow-up afterwards. I forgot what it was. It was... Something like that. But she gets a follow-up afterwards. It's pretty slow before, so now that it does more damage, you're able to get a little bit more reward for hitting something that's pretty slow. It is... Down back three. It's not even crouch state the entire way, and it's 19 frames, and it's a high. So uh, it's very scary to use in that sense. But if you're to hit it, you're able to get a little bit higher reward. That's fair, in my opinion. Down back three for four, closer on block. Yeah, universal change. That's fair. Uh, back one, do glide transition can be uh, it can be performed. Is three flames slower? Just overall in general, huh? Maybe they thought this was abusive. I'm not quite sure, honestly. I could see that they think that maybe the uh, the crash cancel is abusive, but I don't know if they think that thing itself is abusive. So that's interesting. It might be just easier to do combos with too. There might be something on the wall where you do back um, back one do glide and then something like that. Actually, does that work on the wall? Well, I kind of wanted them. I kind of wanted her to be wall splat. Uh, Sweet, that's good. Scroll down notes. My bad. I forgot. I forgot how uh, small the. The thing is on yours so timing uh on it can be d done three flames hour why can't i highlight this that's crazy all right so uh, uh can be performed three frames slower let's just scroll up uh higher already so that way i'm already ready to move on where are we we're right here I should zoom out just a little bit. There you go. That should be a little bit better. All right. So uh, I think that's why they changed it. So this could be she can do stuff on the wall. Because that's definitely really good. Now they're face down. Now you're in a good situation. I like this. If that if that's the reason why they did it. if that's if not that's not the reason why they did it then I'm not sure, but I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's pretty good. If I see rabbits back three or back four, is this the turn or the step? Yeah. If I see rabbit three now change 15, 17, 15 on block closer on block. Okay, universal change. Uh, less people can launch punish it, so it's it's slightly better. But you don't see it all that often anyway. It's kind of a gimmick. So that's fair, honestly. Up three, more damage. Reaction on midair hit was changed. Huh. I wonder why they. Wonder why they thought that needed to be changed. 
Yeah, I don't know why they thought that needed to be changed. That's interesting. But I guess it does more damage. I might have I might have flipped on the ground before. It doesn't anymore. Uh, upward four change to twelve damage faster and jump status to nine. Don't think like I don't feel like you needed to nerf the damage that hard. Wasn't she like it? Wasn't feel like she was ruining people with this move. Right, like it doesn't really give you that much reward anyway. What is it on hit? Negative one, uh, plus one to plus five. No counter hit state. Yeah, I, I don't know if you really needed to ner uh, nerf this move's damage. It gave you really much nothing. It's a good move. It has great range. You go from downtown, right? And as long as you go from downtown, it's going to be likely safe. But... I don't know how I feel about this. If they made this like so that if it was on block, you're now 11 to or 10 to 6 instead of 12 to 8, uh, this would be a lot scarier because you'd be able to do and the 12 the 12 damage would be justified because you would have it better on block. So, but if you hot you hit it, you would have uh, less reward and you didn't need to hit it because you're trying to go for mix-ups afterwards. So that's a that's a, a interesting change. A forward uh four three now causes bounce on hit. Oh, uh, that's why they changed it. Okay, because it's her wall bounce move now. Cool. Okay. So, uh this is actually seems like one of the better wall bounce moves. It's negative nine. Has a big gap, so you're able to do something about it, but it is it is something. So jump status change. So I guess if you're it's one of those things where you're in this situation right now where you're in this range and you beat something and then you're able to to mess them up for it. So uh, a lot of these things you have to know uh, in order for you to understand what the opponent wants to do. So if you're like in this range, right, and you're playing against this Lily player who's just standing right here, and she's like sort of whiffing buttons, she's trying to get you to press something, you know, she's seeing here. It's because she wants you to do a low or wants you to do something that she's whiffing. If she's up close like this, then she wants to crush something, right? If she's up close, then she wants to go. Something like that. So this is good to know. Quarter forward one, uh, quarter forward two, change to four, start up fourteen. So fourteen frame punish now. I guess it didn't have that much reward before. What else does it do again? That's it, right? It just gives you a knockdown if you swing into the second hit. It's a safe mid mid. Changed to negative seven on block, uh, negative seven to negative eleven. Changed uh, plus two to plus five on hit, and now change. It is essentially a twelve frame punish, however, or fourteen frame punish. However, it really sucks because you have to do a quarter four t uh, motion in block stun. So this is one of those things where you have to do. You're like holding block, and then you gotta input it really fast. I don't know how much I like this. I liked it better when it was safe and you were able to poke with it. You were able to like sort of delay it just a little bit. It's still delayable though, so you're able to if you get someone to swing into it, right? You're you're able to do something like that and probably get root of evil after it. That would probably be her best thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know how much I like this change. I kind of dislike it, even if it's better. Hey, Zane, how's it going, man? I hope you're doing well. I'm I'm doing pretty well going through Lily changes. Some things are interesting. Uh, some things uh, make sense, but overall, I'm just trying to see what they're what they're trying to go for with this character. First attack change now uh, to a homing attack. Good. 
Good. This is much more consistent as a sort of as a check. You get people to move around. You want to be able to stop them from doing things. This is a good button to do it. It's a plus six on block. Shit. Uh, you actually might see people use this a lot more because it is a high high and it's very fast. So there's not like a, a reaction duck other than to this animation right here. All right. As soon as you see that, you're supposed you try to duck. Trying to get back into the series. Oh, cool. Yeah, it feels like a lot of people are coming back for season two, which I'm pretty happy about. So I'm just going through the changes real quick. Um, in the future, I want to do streams where I'm going through characters and learning them. I'll be doing Lily because I I, I don't remember how to play her, but uh, go through characters where I I teach people how I learn characters, and uh, maybe that'll help them learn characters as well. Wall raising one one uh one two three one two four closer on block yeah universal change while saying while saying three uh reaction when opponent is downed was changed okay flip, flip some face down now cool useful might be things where you can go into uh, back one do glide into that. That might be able to be doing something. That might do something for you. So cool stuff. Uh, they give her a lot of cool things. Uh, while crouching um, two, while crouching one actually negative nine on block. Punish reaction when hit and while down has been changed. Oh shit! Look at that. That did not used to knock down. Uh, where's Lily frames? Full crouch down four to one. Damn, it used to. That's crazy. This is wild. So now it puts you face down. Boom! Look at that. This is a scary low now. Or a scary mid, I mean, sorry. But. Because you still have down 4 3 from this. Or full crush down 4 3. Which uh, now can be performed with do glide um, quarter forward hold 3. That's. A change. That's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just curious. They made do glide better, they gave it a low out of it now. Or uh, another low. She has. She still has. Um, what's it called? I'm just curious. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see off the top of my head. Why would they? What? what what's their idea? Why are they doing? I guess that's so you can get a low, right? So you're not doing, you know. Do glide into that, and now you have plus frames. You're doing do glides into mids. Now you're doing do glides into. hold right now that's good you know i kind of like that actually now that i'm thinking about it they gave her a low out of do glide so there's more of a mix up here and if you if you were to do you know do glide able to get a combo uh, counter hit so swinging into it's scary this is good this is a good change i think uh she got slightly better I think she was, she was very good. I don't think they changed any of her problems from being a, a mainly a two out of three monster. I think she's still a two out of three monster, but that gives her, I guess, identity. 12 frame knockdown punish. That's crazy. This is a great, uh, very good punish or, or a very good change. Uh, down back three. You might see this quite a bit more. I think there's a way to get rid of evil, but you sort of have to be quick on the dollar. I think instead that if I were... Uh, 
Once I figure out something else, I'm just doing Ford Ford three. And you know, this isn't bad, right? Because they buffed uh they buffed Dew Glide. So if they So you can do things like so this sort of comes together, right? You think about how all of her uh, changes are put together. You're doing something like this. Right? Now you have a mix-up out of this. You, instead, you're doing... Dab back three. Stuff like that. Some stuff to worry about. Either way. Uh, yeah. Her game around Dugly got better. Stuff like that. This seems really. This seems like she's uh, got overall slightly better. I don't know if she. Uh, a lot of people said she got crazy, crazy better. I think it's partly because this is insane. Like uh, having a 12 frame knockdown punish. She just doesn't have to fuss with 13 frame punishes to get a knockdown. Especially considering that if you have a 12 frame knockdown, you have uh, people like me who like using stuff that are now negative 12 on the wall. You're able to get a punish like that. That's crazy. You get a wall slot out of this now. So, overall, I think, uh, I don't know if, I think she got as much better as people thought she did, but I think she got better. She got better indeed. Um, that's pretty good. Good for her, anyway.